seated. Get comfortable in the chair. Let's do loudly so everybody can get their seat. And for the record, tell us your name, spelling your name. My name is Betsy Dukes, B-E-T-S-Y-D-U-K-A-C. And Ms. Dukes, how old are you? I'm 46. And what is your date of birth? May 18th, 1968. And you are married? Correct. To whom? Jeannie. And when did you and Jeannie get married? Whatever he says. <laughs> testimony as to how you learned about his existence, how he came to live with you, and what, how things have been going since he's been in your home. Is all of that? Oh, nice. That is. Did you, as well as your husband and your family, cooperate with Ms. Burnett and her agency for purposes of the adoption study she prepared for this court? We did. Um, this is your second adoption? Correct. Do you understand that the legal and emotional, do you understand the legal and emotional significance of this adoption? Yes. Do you understand that once again we're assuming that the rights responsibilities and obligations of the biological parent? And do you understand that this adoption might be one that we see is irreversible? It is in fact So that Cooper and Peel inherit from your estate and your husband's estate. No different than your birth children uh, or an adopted child. Um, obviously, uh, we see in the courtroom he's really a very good child. Seems happy, healthy, I love the bow tie. Um, is he a happy and healthy child? He is. And of course, with his health issues, you are dealing with them? We are. And uh, ready to deal with them or any other that may arise as he grows up, which can happen with any child? Yes. He's adjusting well? Yes. Uh, developing well? Uh, do you believe that you and your husband uh, are ready, willing, and able to take on the future? We are. Uh, and do you believe that you and your husband can continue to provide for his emotional, physical, and financial needs? Yeah. So are you here today asking me to grant you an adoption? Yeah. And are you also asking that I order a name change to Cooper? Is it Mariah? Yes. Mariah? Yeah. Yes. And order the state of Wisconsin to issue a new birth certificate to reflect the adoption of the name change? Yes. Um, and uh, do you understand the impact and the finality of this adoption you've granted? Do you have any questions you want to ask me regarding this adoption or the significance of this adoption? I do. Do you believe the adoption is in his best interest? I do. And why do you believe it is in his best interest? Um, my husband said it pretty well and that he wouldn't be where he is today. Um, when we got the call, it was a call of, would you take this child that nobody would take? Because there's too many unknowns because he had brain surgery and a stroke and seizures. And we walked into it um, first and foremost with our faith. And we went and saw him every day in the hospital. And my daughter, Grace, uh, came with us. And he connected to her like I've never seen a connection. And we just move forward with the unknown. So we are definitely prepared for whatever life ahead. All right, just your cats, uh, what's good for the goose is sauce for the gander. Your wife's on the stand. She's under roll. Do you wish to uh, risk your marriage and answer any questions? No, <laughs> <Don't> sir. <laughs> a very wise decision. You may step down, Mr. Thank you. All right, uh, let's see. 